back to my channel. My name is Angelica, the Perfume Princess, and on my channel I make fragrance, beauty, and lifestyle content. So if that is something that you are interested in, please subscribe down below. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back and besitos. Um, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you all, reviewing and showing you all, my fragrance oils from Sugar Milk & Co. I've gotten a few new scents in and I and just want to share with you how I like them and my thoughts. This video is actually dedicated to one of my subscribers. You know who you are, girly. Um, she really wanted me to review these scents. And um, she actually really helped me a lot to decide which scents that I wanted. So thank you so much, Amanda, for all of your help. And this video is dedicated to you. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Sugar Milk & Co. is dedicated to making gourmand kind of scents, which means that they are edible. Not like you're walking around smelling like spaghetti edible, but more of like bakery kind of scents, fruity, cakey, that kind of thing. So all of my scents are in the gourmand category, and they are all fragrance oils. So let's go ahead and start off with my very first one, which is Sugar Cookie. So with the scent Sugar Cookie, this one was actually... One of my favorite scents out of all of the ones that I got and the reason that it is my favorite is because it smells like a nice creamy vanilla so it smells very similar if you've ever smelled it to the Vanilla Bee Noel from Bath and Body Works so it has a lot of vanilla in there it's creamy it's sweet and a little bit soapy but it also has a very prominent sugar cookie smell. I really like this scent a lot and it's going to pair well with so many of my um, fragrances. So what I would do, I would put the fragrance oil on first, rub it in, and you can either let it sit there, sit alone on your skin, or you can layer it with another vanilla fragrance or any fragrance of your choice, actually. Mm, smells beautiful. Moving on to my next one. I already did a review on this, but I wanted to add this back into this video. So sugar honey and cake sugar honey and cake smells just like it is said there's sugar there's honey and there's cake i get a lot of that yellow cake kind of smell from this at first i did do a review on this one right here and i was just kind of like nah it's not it but once i over time it really grew on me and if i'm looking for sugar honey and cake this is the scent that i would go to it is very true to scent and smells just like sugar honey and cake if i were to rate this one i would give it an eight because it's very very true to the scent i wouldn't give it a 10 because it's not my favorite scent of all time so that is sugar honey and cake and then i'm gonna move on to my strawberry matcha the strawberry matcha is very fruity and a little bit tart i guess because it does have that strawberry and that matcha in there um, one thing to note about the strawberry matcha, it is not creamy and it is not milky, at least to my nose. Um, I would say, I know matcha and green tea are pretty much similar, but this does smell like a green tea. And the reason that I wouldn't say that it smells just like matcha is because matcha is very milky, while this right here, the scent is very strawberry based, but also very green tea based. In my personal opinion, it does not have a milkiness to it to make it matcha. So if I were to rename this, I would call it strawberry green tea. It's sweet, a little bit tart, and it has a little bit of a undertone to it. I guess that's that kind of like artificial smell kind of thing, but it does not smell bad. Would I get this one in a full size? No, but I will definitely enjoy the heck out of this little mini one. I would pair this fragrance oil with my Killian uh, Princess fragrance because that fragrance also has a note of matcha in that as well. So I do like this one and um, I would recommend you get it, but get it in a mini. Moving on to my fluffy jiggly cheesecake. This scent is very sweet. It's very sugary. And it kind of, I feel like it has kind of like a berry note to it, like a strawberry note. And also the cheesecake in here is not very 
prominent i would say it is more strawberry it's a nice blend of strawberry and cheesecake so you're not getting too much cheesecake in here um and it's not cheesy at all I would say it is a little bit creamy, but not over the top. It's not like a marshmallow or a milky kind of scent, but definitely cheesecakey. Cheesecake, strawberry. Would I give it? Would I get a full size in this one? No, but I will definitely, like I said earlier, enjoy the heck out of this little mini one because it is nice. It's sweet. It's sugary. And it is a nice scent that would pair with a lot of like fun, fruity um, perfumes. Or you could just wear it alone. Mm, the more I smell it, the more I like it. But yes, do recommend that one. Um, birthday cake. So everybody has been raving about this birthday cake. And I personally think it is just simply okay. Um, I do get uh, that typical gourmand sweet. I do get that typical gourmand sweetness with this. It's sweet, it's sugary, it's vanilla-y. But once I put it on my skin, it does get a little bit, like it has an undertone of, it kind of smells like plastic a little bit. Um, but if I pair this with a nice birthday cake body spray, then it goes really, really well with it. So birthday cake, I do like it. Like I said, sweet, sugary, vanilla. And depending on the pH of your skin will depend on ultimately how these smell. Moving on to almond cookies and milk. This was one of my favorite ones because one, it is a very almond based and I get a lot of almonds and I get a lot of that cookie note as well. I don't really get much of a lactonic component, it doesn't really smell very milky, but it is very almondy and it does have a lot of that cookie note and it projects and smells so, so well on my skin. With this almondy one, I would pair it with my whipped almond uh, bodies perfume at a parfum number 14 from target i feel like these two would make an excellent combination and i would love to pair these two together and then i have my fluffy marshmallow that should be called fluffy plastic play-doh because don't even waste your money like this smells absolutely horrible and i spent my money and got this full size one and girlies it is not it it is not it at all so do not waste your money and get a full size on this marshmallow fluff. Absolutely not. The only one, I do like these scents a lot, but the only one that I really think that I could commit to getting a full size of is the sugar cookie because it is so versatile. And I think this one is the one that I would enjoy most out of all of them. And I can see myself reaching for the most out of all of them. And I would also potentially recommend to get... If you had to get a full size of another one, I would say the fluffy cheesecake one would be a good option to get a full size on. So that is my review of the new of my new Sugar Milk & Co. scents. I really hope that this video helped you figure out which Sugar Milk Co. fragrance oils to get. Um, because I know that mine has been a lot of trial and error. For sure, if I were to keep three of these and not anything more. I would keep the almond cookies and milk, the sugar cookie, and I would probably stick with the fluffy jiggly cheesecake. And then if I were to just kind of be like, eh, I just want to experiment with some, then I would get the strawberry matcha and the sugar honey and cake. I know these are would kind of just be some that I would just randomly use. And then the birthday cake one, I feel like people love this, but it's very subjective. I didn't necessarily absolutely love it. It's not bad, but it also does have that like plasticky note to it. So I know that wasn't my favorite part of that. And Marshmallow Fluff, do not, like I said, do not waste your money with that. Uh, the longevity of these scents, I would just, it depends on the person. It depends on the, you know, your pH balance. I'd give it like two hours. So don't, expect it to last all day for me it didn't but also these are type of scents that you layer with another scent on top so i'd say two to three hours longevity and just touch it up a little bit and go from there also i did switch up my setup today i wanted to be comfy while recording this video so i decided to film on my bed today um 
so yeah I don't know I just thought it would be different to do something like this so I hope you enjoyed the new scenery as always thank you so much for watching stay beautiful and smell amazing bye